Welcome back to Future News. As always, you'll find an article linked to this perplexing discovery in the description below. Now then, imagine a grandfather clock, if you will. Tick-tock, tick-tock. The pendulum swings back and forth, marking each second with a steady rhythm. It's a comforting sound, one that we've grown accustomed to over the years. It keeps going and going, showing us time passing by. Each tick represents a moment that has just slipped away, and each tock brings us closer to the future. That's how we think of time, a steady flow like a river. It moves in one direction, always forward, never backward. We see it in the way rivers carve their paths through landscapes, shaping the world around them. It's always moving forward, from yesterday to today to tomorrow. The sun rises and sets, marking the passage of days. We wake up, live our lives and go to sleep, only to start again the next day. Time controls everything, from sunrise and sunset to how we grow older. We see it in the way children grow into adults and how plants sprout, bloom and wither. It's a straight line, past, present, future. We move along this line, always heading towards the horizon, never able to turn back. This idea of time is how we understand the universe. It's the framework within which we build our theories and make sense of the world around us. It's the base of classical physics, the rules that explain how planets move and how apples fall from trees. These rules have guided our understanding for centuries. But in the tiny world of atoms and photons, things are different. The rules change, and our familiar understanding of time starts to blur. There we have quantum mechanics, and it has its own strange rules. Particles can be in multiple places at once, and time doesn't flow in the same way. And guess what? Scientists found something really weird in this tiny world. They discovered phenomena that challenge our very understanding of reality, opening up new possibilities and questions about the nature of time itself. At the University of Toronto, some physicists have been studying time itself. They're looking at the quantum world where tiny particles do strange things. In a new experiment, they found something amazing, negative time. Now, this doesn't mean we can travel back in time like in a movie. It's a quantum thing, something strange in the tiny world that changes how we think about time itself. To understand negative time, we need to look closely at the experiment. The experiment used photons, tiny bits of light and rubidium atoms in a controlled environment. The scientists used powerful lasers to energize the rubidium atoms, like giving them a significant power boost. Then, they shot photons at these powered up atoms and measured how long it took for the atoms to calm down and release the energy they had absorbed. And here's the weird part. Sometimes the atoms released the energy they even absorbed the photons in unexpected ways. It's like they reacted to something that hadn't happened yet. This phenomenon is known as negative time. It's super important to understand that negative time isn't time travel. We're not talking about hopping into a time machine and visiting the past or future. We're not going back to the dinosaurs or changing the past. Negative time is a concept that comes from the strange and fascinating world of quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, particles behave in ways that are very different from our everyday experiences. Negative time comes from how things work in this tiny, unpredictable world. In this tiny world, particles don't move in straight lines like balls on a pool table. Instead, they follow paths that are more like fuzzy clouds with a chance of being in one place or another. They're more like fuzzy clouds, with a chance of being in one place or another. This fuzziness isn't just about where particles are, it also applies to when things happen. This fuzziness happens with time, too. Events at the quantum level don't have a single, precise time. Atoms absorbing and releasing photons doesn't happen at an exact time. Instead, there's a range of possible times when these events can occur. There's a range of possible times, and some of those times can be negative. This means that in the quantum world, time can flow in unexpected ways, challenging our traditional understanding of time. This discovery of negative time is a big deal for scientists. It opens up a whole new realm of possibilities and challenges our current understanding of the universe. While we can't use it for anything right now, it changes how we understand quantum mechanics. 
The implications of this discovery are vast and could lead to groundbreaking advancements in technology and science. This finding could help us build better quantum computers, machines that are exponentially more powerful than today's supercomputers. Superfast computers that use the weirdness of the quantum world to solve problems that are currently unsolvable. Scientists need to do more experiments to understand negative time. They are eager to explore this phenomenon further and see where it leads. They want to try the experiment again, refine their methods and gather more data to confirm their findings, understand the theory behind it and develop new models that incorporate this groundbreaking concept and see how it connects to other parts of physics. This could revolutionize our understanding of the fundamental laws of nature. Our journey into the quantum world has just started and the road ahead is filled with exciting possibilities and unknown challenges. And it's going to change how we think about time and reality. The quest for knowledge continues, pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we can achieve.